In today's episode, we look at 10 shade loving vegetable plants that are super easy to grow in your home garden. Now, before we get into shade loving vegetables, Let's look at the definition of what does full sun, partial shade and shade mean. Plants that grow in full sun receive 6 hours or more of sunlight. Those growing in partial shade receive about 3 to 6. And full shade means the plant is getting less than 3 hours of sunlight. Our number one shade loving plant is lettuce. Now we have grown lettuce intentionally in shade right between our tomato plants. And this plant just thrives growing in shade. So as you can see when we were planting our lettuce plants, even when our tomato plants were really young and not really bushy and provided shade, we started our lettuce bed right in between our tomato plants. And by planting these lettuce seedlings right between the tomato plants, we ensured that it was getting a lot of shade from the tomato plants that were growing around it. So we planted our lettuce seedlings right through the row between the tomato plants and this ensured that they get shade. And the reason why lettuce love shade is that they store a lot of water in their leaves and you want these leaves to be nice and succulent when you eat them. And this is why lettuce makes a great shade loving plant. Now you can grow lettuce in full sun but you will see that it suffers a lot. You need to water it a lot and the texture of the leaves is not that good. But you can see here the lettuce that we planted between our tomatoes which is in a shaded area has nice plump leaves that can be easily harvested. They are crunchy, delicious and they hold a lot of water and nutrients in their leaves. So here you can look at the harvest. It looks amazing. Very nice, beautiful looking lettuce leaves. So lettuce is definitely our number one plant to grow in the shade. Our second recommendation for growing plants in shade is radish. And we are referring to the early variety of radish, not the late varieties which take a long time to grow. They do need full sun. But the shorter varieties or the ones that grow within about 30 days or so can easily be grown in shade or partial shade. And you can still get a very good harvest from these radish plants. Now the radish plants that grow in partial shade may not have large bulbs like the ones growing in full sun. But nonetheless, these radish bulbs don't get that big. So you can easily get away planting these radish plants in shade as we have done. Shade or partial shade depending on what kind of sun you get in your radish growing area. And a lot of early maturing radishes like Scarlet Globe or Crimson Cherry Bell, which is one of my favorite radish varieties to grow in the shade. You can get away with a good harvest of radish. You can use the leaves, you can use the bulbs and end up with a really good harvest by growing radish in shade. Number three is curry leaf plant. Now a lot of people ask me questions on how curry leaf plants grow. And this is our curry leaf plant that is growing in the sun, full sun. And you can see that the leaves are not very healthy. They are doing okay. But the sun is really taking a toll on them. As compared to the curry leaf plant that's growing in our California room, which has quite a lot of shade. And you can see that the leaves are a lot healthier. They are nice and juicy and plumpy compared to the ones growing in full sun. Now I've grown curry leaf plants in full shade, partial shade and they grow really well. In fact, in my previous garden, I had curry leaf plants growing in partial shade almost all the time. And they produce great curry leaves as you can see. Number four is basil. Now there are a lot of different types of basil like this holy basil plant that you can see. There are actually two types of holy basil, both of the ones that we have in our garden growing in shade. And they're doing pretty well. And basil plants will grow very well in shade. They actually do not like full sun. If you grow them in full sun, their leaves turn yellow and they're not as delicious to eat compared to the ones growing in the shade. And that's especially true for these basil plants like the Thai basil and the sweet basil that's growing in our green stock planter. And I'll have a complete review of the green stock planter coming up very soon. It's an incredible piece of equipment that you can have in your garden for growing your vegetables and herbs. And there are also a lot of interesting basil varieties. As you can see here, this is the boxwood basil, one of my favorite basil varieties to grow. This is the sweet basil. The sweet basil is one of the most common basil varieties that people grow in their home garden. And they love shade. So next time you're planting your basil, remember that you can plant them in partial shade or full shade and still get away with really great basil plants. Number five is cilantro. Now cilantro is an herb that just hates full sun. These are the cilantro plants that are growing in full sun and the sun is again taking a toll on these plants. You can see that the leaves are brown and not so healthy. Compared to the ones that we grew in shade, 
you can see here these cilantro plants the leaves are nice and plumpy they have a lot of juice in them a lot of flavor and the harvest looks amazing so cilantro can easily grow in partial shade and if you're growing it in a container you can actually move your container into an area that gets some shade so cilantro is another highly recommended plant that can be easily grown in partial shade and still produce a lot of good plants and you can easily grow cilantro in trays as well growing trays like these and with just a limited amount of space you can just plant your cilantro seedlings or sow your seeds and move it to an area that gets less sun and you can be assured that you'll get a really good harvest of cilantro leaves by not exposing the plant to a lot of sun number 6 is mint now mint plants growing in full sun will be a little yellow and dry and not that juicy as you can see here this plant of ours the mint plant gets almost 10 hours of sunlight every day compared to this mint plant which is grown in partial shade and look at how nice the leaves are this mint plant was grown in an area that receives just 2 or 3 hours of sunlight every day under a tree and it has still grown very well you can see that the leaves are nice bright and juicy and this is another mint plant that has been growing in partial shade and you can see the quality of the mint it's pretty amazing so mint is definitely one plant that can grow well in shade and give you a really good harvest number 7 on our list of plants to grow in shade is taro or taro root now you can see the taro that's growing in our raised beds in full sun and i'm not too happy with how the leaves look like the sun is definitely taking a toll on them and taro definitely grows much better in shade or partial shade now you can see here this taro plant is growing in partial shade and you can see the leaves are quite large quite healthy and this tropical plant definitely loves shade in fact you can plant taro in containers in shade and still get a very decent harvest of taro roots which is what it's mainly grown for the taro leaves are also amazing by the way you can harvest taro leaves but the main harvest for the taro plant are the taro roots or the tubers and they grow really well in shade or partial shade as you can see these plants are quite healthy quite big and they're also producing a lot of taro root tubers so taro root is definitely one plant that i can recommend that you grow in shade or partial shade next up is beets now beets are grown both for their roots as well as the greens the beets that grow in partial shade or shade may not have larger bulbs but they still have amazing greens and if you have never tasted beet greens you're definitely missing something beet greens are one of the best greens i've tasted they're very flavorful very delicious and you can still get some decent sized roots by growing beet roots or beet plants in shade or partial shade Now this is a beet that's grown in full sun and you can see that the beet root is larger but the leaves are not that healthy the greens are not that good So my recommendation is to try and grow beets in partial shade or shade and see the harvest you get I'm pretty sure you'll be quite satisfied not only getting beet roots but also very good quality beet greens at the same time Next up is kale Kale is one of my favorite plants to grow in partial shade This kale plant was getting a few hours of the morning sun about 2 hours or so which means it was actually growing in shade and it did pretty well you can see the leaves they are nice full and quite healthy and the kale plants that i have currently in my garden are growing in full sun and they're doing okay but kale grown in partial shade performs much better and this applies to other kale varieties like dinosaur kale as well these grow very well in partial shade or shade and the dinosaur kale is preferred over the curly kale by a lot of people just because of the texture of the leaves and it does amazing in shade moving on to number 10 tomatoes really can you really plant tomatoes in shade well i have some good news for you cherry tomatoes are one tomato variety that you can actually get a decent harvest from by planting them in partial shade the reason why cherry tomatoes grow successfully in shade is because they have smaller tomatoes or smaller fruits the plant requires less sun to produce these fruits unlike the larger tomatoes which must be grown in full sun and this applies to all kinds of cherry tomatoes like the sun gold cherry or the red cherry all cherry tomatoes can be grown in shade so there we have it folks that was our episode on 10 vegetables that you can easily grow in shade i hope you like this video and i hope you found these suggestions valuable for your home garden i know a lot of us don't have full sun in all the areas of the garden but by following these guidelines you can easily grow these vegetables in your home garden if you like this video do give us a thumbs up and if you have any questions comments or suggestions put them in the comments box below 
We'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.